Hello everyone, welcome back to the InfoStrip channel. In today's video, we will be covering an important topic that is crucial for securing the APIs. This is generating and verifying OAuth access tokens in SAP API management. Okay, so in this video, first we will see how we can generate the OAuth access token and later we will see how we can verify the same token. Okay, before we dive into the hands-on part, let's first understand what OAuth 2.0 is. In simple terms, OAuth is an authorization framework that allows third-party services to exchange credentials like access tokens to grant specific permission without exposing sensitive information like user's password. You know, it's widely used for APIs to secure access to the resources. Okay, now let's jump into generating the OAuth access token using the SAP API management. For setting the OAuth authorization configuration for your API proxies, you will need to first create an API proxy that will act as a token issuer. So let me just quickly create a new API proxy. So here in the URL section, let me mention a URL. Let me mention the API base path as slash token. Click on create. Okay, so in the proxy endpoint, let me just select the target endpoint as none. Okay, let me tell you why we have done this. You know, for the generation of OAuth token, SAP management will act as a OAuth token issuer. So by setting the target endpoint to none, the target server you specify won't be called, but the response from SAP management will be returned. So that's why we have just set this value to none. After that, click on save. So the next thing that we are going to do is to add the policies. So we'll click on policies. So you need to navigate to the proxy endpoint, then click on preflow and then we'll click on edit. Now here you need to select the OAuth v2 policy, give a policy name. So here we are making changes to the policy so that it can generate the access token. Okay, so let me just edit the policy. In the operation, it will be generate access token. Okay, so let me add another attribute. Okay, so these are the changes that are required in the policies. Okay, now click on update, save it and we will deploy this API proxy. Okay, so the first step is done. Now we will be moving to the next step. Uh, for this, I will create another API proxy. So this API proxy will be based on this particular API provider which is the pet store API. So let me just create another API provider. So here the URL will be, okay. So for this, let me just navigate to the Swagger pet store API. Okay, so this will be our URL. Let me just copy it. Now here you need to enter the relative URL. So let me delete everything. I'll be just using V2 here. Okay, enter the proxy name. Click on create. Okay, now let me navigate to the resources tab. So here the path prefix will be store inventory. Click on OK. Now click on save. After that click on policies. So here we will be adding the OAuth policy. 
let me just enter the policy name so here we are not making any changes to the policy we have just added our policy now click on update click on save now we will deploy our proxy okay so once it is done let me just check this one as well if it is deployed or not okay it is deployed okay so one thing i like to mention here that you will need an oauth client id and oauth client secret so this oauth client id is a unique identifier of your oauth client application and the oauth client secret is a secret known only to your oauth client application and oauth token issuer server in order to generate these two you need to first create a product okay so for creating a product you need to navigate to the engage tab click on create now enter the name of your choice and the title as well now click on apps we will add our two api proxies the first one is this and second one is this click on okay okay so now we will publish this product so now it's time to navigate to api hub enterprise so as you can see we have got our product in the form of tile click on it click on apis now we will create a new application so as you can see we have got our application secret and application key now it's time to test our api okay so navigate to the postman let me just close these so first i will be creating a new collection give a name okay so click on the authorization tab here you need to select the authorization type as oauth 2.0 scroll down so as you can see here in the token name you need to mention the token name of your choice let me just mention the token as a name now the grant type would be client credentials so the access token url right so this access token url is the url for the api proxy that you have created for the issuance of token just copy it and you need to paste it here in the access token url now the next thing is the client id so the client id is basically your so your application key is the client id so just copy and paste it here next is the client secret so your application secret is the client secret okay now click on save okay let me add a new request okay i want okay for this i want an api proxy url let me just click here okay in the resources tab after this okay so i'll copy the url then the path is store inventory let me copy this as well now here authorization type would be inherit from parent okay let me just test without generating the access token let me just click on send so as you can see we have received an unauthorized message which says invalid access token okay now we'll go to the collection click here on get new access token okay so authentication is complete click on proceed use this token okay now again we will click on send okay so this time we got the response with the status code as 200 
So it means that the request is successfully verified and we get a response from the pet store API that we have created. It means that token verification is working and only requests with valid token are allowed to access the resources. So in this video, we have walked through the entire process of generating and verifying an OAuth access token in SAP API management. So this OAuth ensures that your APIs are secure by allowing only authorized access. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the InfoStreet channel for more SAP and tech related content. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or, or if you like me to cover any specific topics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.